Okay, number 10, what's the problem? T squared plus 1 all over T squared. Make that up here. All over T squared. Yes. And this is X. Yes, that's X. X. And you're having trouble getting V. And A, but yes, B. You have two choices. You can do quotient rule. Okay. What did you do? I think I did quotient rule. Yeah. Okay. So what's the quotient rule? So T um, squared and A. The bottom? Uh -huh. What's the derivative of the top? Minus the top. What's the derivative of the bottom? Um, two t. Two t. Yeah. Sorry. Yes. All over what? T squared squared. Which is. So is this two t cubed minus two t cubed minus two t? Harrison, if you're going to set fire, put your mask on. Thank you. Okay, ten. Isn't it at rest when velocity is zero? So I, when I simplify this, I got this, right? So what I'm going to do is set velocity equal to zero, right? Yeah. When does a number equal zero? When the Top is zero or the bottom? Oh. So what is the numerator of this? Can that ever equal zero? Yeah. So it never equals zero. Okay? So what is the question on C? Where is it at rest? Never. Now the next one is moving left and right. What is my interval? One to two, positive one. Okay. Here is my interval. How do I determine left or right? I pick a number in the interval, plug it in velocity. So that tells you moving right or left. Right? So now can I go to D? Oh, you're finishing that. On D, total distance, don't I need S sub 1 and S sub 2? So what's S sub 1? Two. 2. What is S sub 2? So that so all I do is find out how far apart those two numbers are. Well, surely you have a calculator that will subtract them. Okay, so. So you, you can't just add two and five. It has to be in the distance from two. Yes. And that's your that's your distance. That's your. You take the distance of one minus the, where it is on the other one. But I had to squeeze that. Okay. You can also slow it down. If I give you this, what does S mean? The, 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 the position, right? Okay. 
just making sure. This is a weight hanging from a spring. Okay, if I pull it down, what's it going to do? It's going to bob up and down. Right? So that's what's going to give it velocity and acceleration. So what I want to know is, for this function, what is the velocity? Do you agree? I, I do agree. What is the acceleration? Okay. If you, if I said, <laughs> if I said, five negative sine t, like Griffin did, and I write that, isn't it going to look like five minus sine t? Yeah. Mm, yeah. So be careful how you write. Well, if you do, you've got to put it in parentheses. But it's better to pull your negatives out front so you don't confuse yourself. Okay, be careful. In this area right here is where you can get confused if it's a negative or if you're subtracting something. So be really careful with your negatives. Okay, could I describe the motion if I wanted to? I'm not going to make you do it. It's going to bob up and down. Do you agree? It's going to bob. Because it's a weight on a spring, and if I pull it down, that's what it does. Well, we could figure out whether it went. It's going to go up and down and up and down, right? All right. This time, I'm going to give you a little bit harder one, okay? This time, S is equal to 2 sine T plus 3 cosine T. No, no, you're not. You're not listening. What is the velocity? Two cosine t minus three sine t. Velocity is two cosine t. What? Minus three sine t. Did I do that without my little cheat sheet? Those are the ones that I'm even seeking. Is what is the? Why don't you listen to me for a minute? What is the acceleration? Uh, negative 2 sine t. Oh, sorry. Minus 2 sine t. Plus 3 cosine t. Plus 8. Now, I want the velocity and the acceleration when t is pi over 4. Oh, man. Okay? t is pi over 4. So right here for velocity, don't I want 2 cosine pi over 4? Minus 3 sine pi over 4. Yeah, but in the calculator, so velocity is, does anybody remember what the cosine and sine of pi over 4 are? Uh, uh, yes, we did. Yes, we did. Radical 2 over 2. Radical 2 over 2. You cheated, but thank you. Yeah, but I remember <laughs> it was on there. <laughs> <laughs> That's correct. Do you all not remember sine of pi over 4, cosine of pi over 4, and radical 2 over 2? Oh, nope. Not really. Let me it here. I remember that. Do you? But I guess I'll tell you with the other one. So is velocity this? Is it? I would, I would is, it, is it negative 2 or is that switch? Wait, no it didn't. Never mind. Never mind. So isn't this negative radical 2 over 2? Yeah. Yeah, it is. I would agree with that. 
What negative two? No, that's acceleration. I'm using velocity. Guys. And that is the that's velocity it? at pi over four. That's the velocity at pi over four. Okay, so we're just we're basically probably just gonna do the same thing that just the bees that we did with the others. Right? <laughs> now what I want is what's called the okay, I'm I'm done. What's called the speed. The speed is the absolute value of velocity. All right? So what is the speed of this? Is speed radical 2 over 2? Remember that positives and negatives just give direction. Because they're scalar. So speed is the speed is the direction. Because they're scalar rather than vectors. Oh, so they have they don't have have scalar. What is the acceleration at pi over four? Wait, what is the acceleration at pi over four? That's what I said. Um, Okay, negative 2 times radical 2 over 2? Negative 5 radical. Radical 2 is the answer. Negative 5 radical 2, right? Let's see. Negative 5 radical 2 over 2. How's that? Wait. I just hope you don't ask like 5 or 3. Hold on. Yes. Oh, yeah. Why is why is in, why is negative five in the, or in the numerator versus just being healthy part? Does it matter? No, I guess not. Well, again, it does. No, it doesn't. Okay. Okay. All right. So I guess we're supposed to touch it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. This is S. Now I'm going to introduce the third derivative, which is the jerk. jerk. Nice. It's good to just bring the third derivative. I didn't say it. <laughs> Do you agree with it? No. She doesn't disagree. You didn't disagree. <laughs> I want to find the jerk. <laughs> it would be the next person to knock that turn, I believe. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> what is velocity? Uh, negative plus you no know, plus sine. Yeah. Plus sine. Okay. Then acceleration. What's the derivative of cosine? Oh, it's negative, so they multiply. Okay. Agree? Yep. Wouldn't, wouldn't the other one have changed, yeah. too? <laughs> I think that's no. no. What is the no, no, no. jerk? No, hold on. Just hold on. Just hold on a second. I have a question. Why didn't we change the sign on that one, but not on the last one? Uh, because it's, it's cosine. Not no, on the previous problem. Right here. Sine to cosine is positive. Back to here. What is the jerk? Cosine T minus sine T. Back in the biz. Back in the game. Back 
That's what jerk is. Wait, All right. Wait, what is jerk in real life? What is, what is that? What is the jerk? What, is, what do you think jerk is? It's just the jerk. If you were, yes. Whiplash. Whiplash, okay. Oh, it's like, so it's like the acceleration. Acceleration. Is accelerating like and all of a sudden it jerks you? Like a nurse stop? Acceleration. Yeah. Acceleration. Wait, it's like is the car stop the thing? Just, it's just the regular. Yes. Yeah. You accelerate Guys. the stop. I don't know what has you so wired today. But let's do, let's kind of, uh, Kind of put all this together. Y equals X squared sine X. I wanted a little more difficult one. And I'm at X equals 3. You're going to need a calculator. Can you move to this one? Well, you tell me. What I want to find is the equation of the tangent line and the equation of the normal line. Now, what the first thing I'm going to need is y. Tell me what y is. And we're going to go three decimal places. 1.270. Yep. Everybody agree? Now, to write an equation, don't I need the slope of the line? Yes. How do I find slope of the line? Derivative and put in x. Okay. The derivative. Wait a minute. Is that a product? Yes. So product rule is first times negative no. First times plus sine x times the cos two x. Two x. I'm going to pull the two x out front. Because the 2x is not part of the angle, is it? No. no. And I don't want to get it confused. It's true. You agree? Yeah. Then we got to go. So what is m? Three. So don't I have y minus 1.27 equals negative 8.063 x minus 3. Is that right? So can you tell me? What y equals? This one, four, five, nine, or four, six, seven. Okay, everybody good with that? 
Now, the question is, how do I find slope for the normal line? Okay, I know it's going to be positive, right? My normal line is, how do I take the reciprocal? One over 8.063? Or you can turn 8.063 into a fraction. Totally not. Well, if I did that, the fraction, 8,003 <laughs> over 1,000, and then so it's just 1,000. Guys, if you walk by Griffin the Hall, don't touch his lanyard, it was in his mouth. Where all the germs are that you're trying to avoid. Yeah, because he's rubbing his wet lanyard all over his face. So what is M for my normal line? But I don't know what that is. Point one thousand over eight thousand. Point one two four. So I have Y minus one point. Two seven equals what did we say it was? One point or point one two four? Yes. Point one two four x minus three. Right? So y equals point one two four x. Okay, I got 0.898. Plus 0.898. Oh, yeah. Wait. I didn't get 0.898. Plus, I got. 